Hello everyone, this is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Mesa, Arizona, and I, um, I come live on Tuesday mornings or have a video to show you what I've been working on in my craft room. And I'm so sorry you can't see my um, lovely win um, festive holiday sweater. It has a flamingo on it, um, and it's very very festive very bright um I'll, maybe i'll have a picture take have my husband take a picture and we'll put it in the comments um afterward hi don good morning thanks for popping on today um like i said i've been um working on some new year's cards i did a blog hop with team stamp it over the weekend and um did one new year card and i'll show that to you um but I had so many ideas in my head that I couldn't decide which one to make. So I've made a couple more and um, I'm going to share those with you today. So without any other chit chat or whatever, I will um, move down to my workspace. Um, and uh, there we go. Um, all right, so let me show you first the card that I made for um, the Team Stamp It blog hop this last weekend. It was the New Year theme. You can find information on my blog at kimplayswithpaper.com. So I used the um, Cracker and Treat Box die, and this cuts out um, a whole sheet, and you fold it up, um, and you make... Um, you make a cracker treat box. So I decided to just cut one of those out, use some gold foil, as well as the split card um, texture, texture dies and some heat embossing. Good morning, Gina, thanks for joining. So that was the card from Saturday, but I had all kinds of other ideas. This um, sentiment is so perfect, it, uh, um, hi Kay. Thanks for joining. It comes from Stampin' Up's Brightest Glow um, stamp set. Hi, Barb. So it, it's not only good for Christmas, but it's New Year, and the good news is this stamp set is carrying over. So um, you'll be able to get it next year as well. Good morning, Patricia. So um, all three of my cards do use that uh, Happy New Year sentiment. So that, that card's uh, on my blog right now at KimPlaysWithPaper.com. Now, a couple of the other cards um, that I've been, I've been kind of going crazy with um, the heat embossing, of course. Um, Stampin' Up! has some um, new products coming out. So I'm kind of giving you a sneak peek of the, um, what are they? The Alphabet All A Mode dies. So they're an alphabet as well as um, numbers. So these will be available beginning January 5th in the January through April um, mini catalog. And here's that heat emboss sentiment. I'm and all as you can see, I'm I'm kind of on a gold and black. Um, theme kick so that I've got the gold foil. Um, I did use some adhesive sheets on the back of these. Um, they are very delicate, but the adhesive sheets made it easy to put them on. I don't know if you can see, I also just cut out some stitched rectangles and layered it on there as such so thank you um you know sometimes um not a lot of people send new year cards but i love to have some on hand because right about now i'm running out of christmas cards and i'm getting um some in the mail from people um and i'd like to respond so i can have a new year card on hand i can use them as thank you cards for Christmas, um, or just a shout out in the new year. Good morning, Nikki, thanks for joining. All right, and then the card that we're going to make today, lots of heat embossing on this one. It used the Stampin' Up's Ray of, Rays of Light stamp set, so I heat embossed this background, and then this, um, this sentiment just is, gonna be used on everything and then the little this 
cute little die comes um, with the coordinating um, labels a glow die and you can get the labels right now you can still get the labels a glow die and the brightest glow stamp set as a bundle and save 10 percent in stampin ups catalog underneath there i have a um five and a quarter by four uh very vanilla and that's um, embossed with the time worn type 3D embossing folder. And of course, all of our gold, gold ribbon. So, um, yes, so we have New Year's cards. Um, seems that if we've been making um, Christmas cards forever, so um, it, now it's time to, to move on. And next week we'll have a sneak peek of some new product. So, um, what I started with was a five and a quarter by four piece of very vanilla cardstock. And I like to use my Stamparatus for these big, even these big um, background stamps. And I've put uh, sticky notes with the sticky on this side and put them down with the magnets. Words aren't easy today, apparently. And then I'll just... Um, that will stay in case I need to have any, um, so it doesn't move. And to heat emboss, we'll use the Versamark ink. It's a watermark and it stays sticky for a little bit. So I'm just going to uh, see my uh, all my lovely sparkles on my sweater get in the way today. Super fun. Um, and just give it a good covering of that Versamark on my big, big background stamp. And I think I did that maybe over much, but, um, and you can't, cause you can't see it and you don't know what's on there. So then I will um, kind of give it a good press to make sure that I get the ink everywhere I want it. Um, and I did it upside down because I really wanted more of the um, this sunshine part to um, stand out. So then I'll just peel that off, and then we'll. I guess you can't really you can't really even see that it's there. I'll move this aside. Um, I have a huge mess as usual. I don't know what's any different. Um, and here is that. Um, embossing editions kit that's in the catalog in the January through or July through December and just kind of um, get ink or get the gold embossing powder everywhere and you can tell that I didn't get a really good pressure on um, some of the bottom but I will just go ahead and do part of this anyway. Um, and then I would just take my um, heat gun, let me move that so I don't get stuff everywhere, and heat that up. So just hang tight. Good morning, Shannon. So anyway, I would just keep heating and heating until the whole um, the whole sheet was embossed. I could still use most of that, but lucky for me this morning, I had um, completed one yesterday. Hi, Brenda. Thanks for joining. So I will be able to work with this and show you the rest of my project. But what I should do is the sentiment too, so that. Um, so that we're ready to go with that as well. I have pre-die cut that with very vanilla um, paper. And I didn't tell you this is cut at five and a quarter by four, but I'm going to cut that down. So I'm just gonna use my, oh, you know what? I didn't use my embossing buddy. So maybe I need to put my embossing buddy, use my Versamark, um, ink up my happy new year, 2023. Can't believe that that's where we are with our year has flown by and I'm just gonna get the just like that 
use my cute little <laughs> pampered chef. And then I'll heat that up. I just love how you can see that. Love how you can see that pop. Thanks for your patience while I made some noise there. So now we can put this, um, let me just bring in the card to show what we're working on. Um, I didn't use the whole thing, so I have um, my stamp and trimmer. I've got all the tools out today, all the stuff, all the toys. So I am going to cut this down to um, three and a quarter by four and a half. So that's if you, if I, when I make a mistake, then I can be sure to cut that I have little way to cut pieces off. So I want to do this at three and a quarter. And then I'm going to do this at four and a half. And so you can't even see that I was off the page. And then we'll be able to work with that little piece um, right here. Um, and I have that. Um, my base is, um, I did basic black cardstock and, uh, unusual. I, I cut it in half at four and a quarter and then, and then scored it at five and a half. And then I have a five and a quarter by four piece of very vanilla cardstock that I put, I ran through the, um, time worn type 3d embossing folder again it's a little kind of hard to see that in the light today but i'll use my stamp and seal plus to um get that going and i'll put that on my base have a little border around that and then I do have a five and a quarter by four to put in the inside and you'll be able to write all your great um, notes to somebody for the new year to celebrate 2023. All right, that's, there we go. So we have the front of the card um, and I just, I just now noticed that I don't have my black cardstock layer, so I'll just cut one because I know that that is, um, I'll cut this one in half first, and so that's cut at um, four and three quarters, if you're taking notes. These will also be available on the blog post today, and three and a half, so. I've left enough just to frame that. So I'm glad I had my trimmer out. And that will layer just nicely like that. I am going to, and sometimes when you heat emboss, the um, paper, the cardstock kind of um, crinkles or wrinkles or bows a little bit. So I'm going to be sure to get some good seal plus on this so that it so that it stays any of you guys make new year cards anybody is everybody done with their christmas cards are all the christmas cards in the mail seems like i've been making christmas cards since january and i still didn't have enough all right so that is that is that and i want to add some of our shimmery gold ribbon so I'll grab a whole bunch of that. Been into big bows lately. So um, before we put that on the card front, my, my big fuzzy sleeves are getting in the way. So here's our gold, this gold shimmer ribbon. Um, I guess I'm into gold and black. All Christmas. Oh, you made New Year cards and uh, all of your... Uh, Brenda, your Christmas are sent. Wow, you and you baked too. I know. I saw some of your baking. 
good for everybody. We still have to make some cookies. We make Italian pit sails. So um, that's two at a time in, in a little iron. So we've got to get that going yet. All right, so there's my ribbon. I'll trim that here soon. I know I use a lot of ribbon. Somebody might be gasping, but that's what I need to make a good bow. Um, I'm going to pop up the um, sentiment more baking yes and so we'll pop up the sentiment and put it on our black circle that I did cut from Stampin' Up's layering circles dies just a black circle okay and actually I did pop up this piece onto um, the card base too I just felt like using a bunch of dimensionals today um so i'll put those on the back and i don't know if any of my midwest friends are here but looks like minnesota north dakota is going to get some snow this weekend and cold so i hope everyone stays safe and warm all right so then that goes just on my card front Remember, I've embossed that with the Time Worn Type 3D embossing folder. And then I will put some more dimensionals. Dimensionals are a good value. You get a whole bunch of these for $4. And you can use the whole sheet. All right. And then I'm just going to put that over that little space right there and trim off the edges. And there we go. Now um, I'll be ready to send that out um, for my New Year's card. Um, if, if you popped in kind of late. This was the other one that I had made using a sneak peek product from the new upcoming catalog. Hi, Gian. These are the Alphabet a la mode dies to make that New Year's card. Those letters are nice, um, delicate, and they, uh, letters and numbers. And this is the card that I made for last week's Blog Hop using Stampin' Up's Cracker and Treat Box dies. So, um, really awesome, um, versatile, the brightest glow has the happy new year. You can still get that. Um, and I do like all of the other sentiments on there as well. So, um, hope you're inspired to maybe make some new year cards and, um, that might be something you not normally do, but they're really fun to make because you can use all your gold and gold embossing and gold foil. Um, you can see the video online and on my blog at kimplayswithpaper.com. I hope you all have a great holiday weekend weekend, and I do plan to be back here next Tuesday with some sneak peeks from, um, the upcoming catalog and celebration. Everyone take care. Thank you so much for joining me today and for watching and commenting and sharing. I appreciate it so much. Talk to you soon, everyone. Bye-bye.